Dean. I'm down at the bike shed in Shoreditch to show you my 1963 BMW R60-2. These old BMWs, they're, they're absolutely amazing. They're pretty bulletproof. But for me, the, the setup with these Earl's front forks is, is just amazing. It's got this kind of Rolls-Royce kind of gliding along ride, uh, which is very unusual. There are some old bikes that do have this, I believe in the 50s, 40s even. Um, but, but for me, I, I hadn't ridden one with that setup before and, and completely got hooked. I also got hooked on the style of this bike, the way the flat twin engine is great. Anyway, so I, I bought this because I was looking on eBay about a couple of years ago and found a, a 1959 black one of these and a clever guy had got hold of it and he'd, it was, he'd put in a 1000cc racing uh, RS uh, 1988 engine, uh, BMW engine, and um, with this kind of cool setup and, and the 1000cc engine, it, it was just amazing. It's a great bike, I've still got it. Uh, I'll have to come and show you it one day if, uh, if you like uh, what you see here. So as you do, uh, I was sitting at home looking on the internet at uh, what people have uh, how people have customised these. You know, you, you look on Google, you see photos uh, flicking through, and I found one uh, of uh, a bike that Blitz Motorcycles in Paris had done, where they'd got hold of uh, the, same, the same bike, the R62, and they'd matte blacked the whole bike. I mean, I mean everything, the wheels, the engine. Um, I think the only thing they didn't, they didn't uh, matte black were their uh, uh, carburettors. Anyway, um, I, I was absolutely hooked and um, thought maybe I could do a, a, a try and replicate that to what they, what they had done and um, started looking on eBay over the next few weeks for a donor bike. Uh, I found this on the German Czech border on eBay and um, got it home and uh, first thing just to make sure the bike was uh, really really running so I started her up and um, it, it, it ran okay, it was a little bit lumpy. Uh, then thought, okay, let's give it a good service. So I started draining down the oil, and the oil was amazing. The, the oil was almost like cream. And uh, so water must have got in there somehow, but you know, testament to these engines, even with a bit of water in them, they, uh, they, 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 still, they still run and uh, just keep going and going. Anyway, the Blitz motorcycle one, I wanted to go the same way. So I stripped off the mud guards and stood back, checked out the bike and thought, this really looks really cool. You know, immediately scrapped the idea of going down the matte black road, because uh, the paintwork was, was, was great on this bike, um, and went for more of a, a restoration, uh, stroke customised uh, project. So uh, yeah, this is, this is the end result, and hopefully now I can uh, talk you around it and show you the bike. So starting at the front here, the wheels and the, the rims and, and the spokes were all rusty. So uh, cut those out and sent the hubs away to uh, Hagen. Hagen do a great job. They, uh, they came back absolutely beautiful. All the brakes were pretty knackered, so uh, it's got all new shoes inside and some new cables. These are a real trendy item at the moment, these Firestones. Uh, people say they don't ride well, but I've had no problem. I, I really give this bike a, a hard ride and uh, they, they, they seem fine to me. I've got no problems with them whatsoever. This whole front suspension setup was, was one of the things that drew me to this particular bike. It's this mad cantilever system. These bikes were actually made for sidecar use. I, I believe that's why they had this setup. And it looks cool. I think it looks very different, very unique. There's a damper inside and that, that was leaking down, so took it apart and put some new, uh, new dampers in. There's not much on the front here that hasn't been uh, touched or, uh, or, or nude. There was a really ugly chrome kind of bar here, which, uh, which is part of the original bike. Uh, took that off and uh, it kind of shows it off a lot nicer. Put a nice yellow film on the front here because uh, I just like the look of that. The uh, electrics uh, on off switch, so you actually push this down and on come your lights. Uh, you just click left and right to put your lights on and it has to go down to be able to start the bike. Um, so that's, uh, this was actually knackered and got, got a, a, a new one of these from a, a great company in Frankfurt in Germany called uh, Ulyss. And they, they actually sell every single part for this bike. Uh, my clock didn't work so I managed to uh, 
to get a clock, not actually from Ulyss, from, uh, just from eBay. And it is a completely original um, clock for, for this bike. Uh, so that's great that they're still available. The original handlebars are, are actually quite high. They're, they're up here somewhere, very upright. So uh, I found these uh, uh, lower ones on, uh, from Ulyss and uh, they, they kind of give a better look on the bike and um, also put you in a, I think, a cooler position, a cooler, cooler ride position. All new uh, lines everywhere. These grips are uh, off eBay. This tiny mirror, uh, also another eBay item. Uh, believe it or not, it actually works really, really well. It, it's, it's probably for uh, a bicycle mirror. The light switch was broken, so that's all been uh, replaced. Great looking uh, tank. This is the, the larger tank. Um, it holds more fuel than uh, some of the uh, R62 other models. Uh, it's got a long, long range tank. Um, the, the paintwork is absolutely phenomenal. I believe it's original. Uh, put a, put a, a check through the middle here, which uh, I think looks cool. Uh, the, the, the petrol cap here, um, I, I don't think it's actually a BMW one, but I, I did buy an original uh, one uh, off, from Ulyss, and uh, this, this one actually looks better. So uh, it's, it's got kind of tarnish and it, it brings a bit of old into the new. Uh, and, and, and works works really well, no leaks. Uh, in here I've got a little uh, toolbox, so uh, got some uh, uh, little little spanner and some uh, screws, and also some spare fuses. The badge was, was was on the bike, but it was all rusty. The screws were rusty, and uh, it was very tarnished. So I managed to get uh, an original band uh, badge here with the really nice uh, old style um, writing uh, on there. Uh, and, and, and also this cool bevel. Moving on to the engine, new heads, new pistons. Uh, a, a guy called Robbie down in uh, Motorcycle Service Centre in uh, Harrow Road near Labrick Grove. Uh, he's the man for these bikes. He, uh, he's got a few himself and uh, he's, a, he's a master at rebuilding these engines. The heads, again, are from U uh, Ulyss in uh, Frankfurt. Um, so I think even, even, even these uh, oil tubes were, were rusty. So. We've, we've changed everything. Every single part's been, been changed and renewed. So uh, I was chatting to Dan when, uh, when I got here before and he, he was saying one of his favorite parts of this uh, engine is the, are these uh, lovely polished aluminum. Uh, I've, I've actually polished them up myself. They were, they were originally they were just a bit matted up and uh, they've polished up really nicely. And, and he liked that. So that's uh, all my hard work's uh, paid off there. Uh, the, the, the gearbox, um, again, just got totally stripped down and rebuilt uh, with all new bolts, which uh, is, is running really well now. Going on to the carburetors. So the original carburetors on these bikes, uh, they work okay, but uh, you get a few flat spots and wanted um, more performance and a, and a, and a, a non-leaking carburetor. So managed to find uh, uh, Mukini carbs, um, on, on researching on the internet, these uh, these ones uh, fit, fitted on. You, you, I had to get this this flange here. Uh, got that from America and uh, on eBay, uh, which bolted up absolutely beautifully. McKinney in, in the UK were, were brilliant on the phone, and they they actually uh, uh, jet it, jet the bike, uh, the carburetor all uh, uh, up for you, so so that it runs smoothly with with this particular engine. Uh, so they, they were really really helpful. Uh, got, a, got a nice little filter here, uh, it's a Warrior one from eBay, um, I, love, I just quite like the look of it as well. You, know, you can get these big chrome ones but these ones are effective and uh, I think they look cool. Originally there, there was a, a chrome pipe which is, is actually a really good looking chrome pipe that goes to here to this uh, air filter. So got rid of that in doing so, uh, Robbie at uh, Motorcycle Service Centres, uh, he, he managed to put these lovely little uh, filters uh, you know in place of the pipe and uh, I think it looks cool. I actually bought some really amazing little trumpets to go on here but once you're actually riding your, your shin there's not there's not enough room to be able to break and have uh, the trumpets there so unfortunately uh, they were bought for no purpose so they're sitting on my desk. New rubber boots here, uh, new battery, all, all of these bits are from Ulyss, a really cool uh, original tyre pump coming through to rear setup here so the shaft here was totally rebuilt as well with all new bolts, all new oils. These two little bits on the chassis here are basically for the sidecar setup so the sidecar would have, would have bolted onto these with the arm and the connector here 
Uh, I found this really cool little light on eBay, it's a bicycle light. You know, it, it gives a, a great, great light and looks, looks cool. Uh, and it fitted on there perfectly, I think. The rear cans, they're totally original. Uh, there's a few dents and dings in them. I kept these on because I, I just, again, just trying to bring the old with the new. Didn't want to go too uh, perfect with the rest though. The rear brakes uh, all got uh, totally stripped down and rebuilt. Again, the same as the front, Hagen did a great job with the spokes and new rims. The rear shock was also knackered and that got replaced. The rear setup with these, these plungers on this particular model, it's, it's a cool look. That, that, the Blitz motorcycle one, they had this setup. Uh, it really drew me to it. And, um, but by stripping off the rear mudguard, you, you actually take a lot of structure out of this rear area. So um, Robbie, motorcycle service center, he was brilliant. He, he, uh, he managed to build this bracket. It's, it's not perfect, but uh, uh, it's, you know, it just show, kind of shows that handmade uh, look, but it really is functional. It, it, it literally holds the whole chassis rear together, and um, without that, uh, you, can, you can completely bend your chassis, uh, twist it. Um, found some lovely uh, caps uh, from Ulyss. They, 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 uh, they were all rusty and rotten. Uh, and then also, Needed a, needed a rear mud guard, so a, a friend uh, uh, came up with this idea to, uh, to get a mud guard, chop it in half, and bolt it uh, onto some fittings, uh, some, some, uh, some places where you can bolt here. Uh, and, uh, and it looks cool. It looks really cool. So that's, that's the whole back here. The, the original mud guard is, uh, has the number plate built into it. So had to do something, so I found, found this cool uh, eBay item um, and uh, it's cool. The, uh, the, the brake light works well but I fitted that other light on the other side because at night it's just not bright enough. Um, what else we got here? We've got some uh, new, new covers, really beautiful uh, hub covers uh, on the front and back and uh, the, the original ones were just uh, very matted, a little bit rusty. All the original uh, levers, brake levers, gear levers, and they got this massive um, kickstart, which is which is really cool. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to start her up, and I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, looking at the looking at my bike down at the bike shed. Uh, hopefully, we might get to race this one uh, at the festival. So let's start her up. Uh, the key is at the front here, so that's quite cool. So we switch that on, give a, li a little bit of choke and hopefully she'll start up. So I hope you like uh, the bike today. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to uh, YouTube uh, bikes. You get to see loads of other really cool bikes. Uh, this is, uh, it's been a pleasure bringing this down, showing you guys.